Hello everyone, welcome to today's science class. My name is Miss Ifani Joseph and in today's science class we are going to be looking at the topic titled Magnetism. We are going to be looking at the topic Magnetism. So in today's class we are going to be learning some key information about magnets, uses of magnets and how we can describe attraction and repulsion in magnets based on the pools. So it's going to be an exciting class. Please stay tuned and learn something new. So first of all, we are starting with the definition of magnets. Now, a magnet is a material or object that can produce a magnetic field, which allows it to attract materials like iron, cobalt, and nickel. Now, a magnet, they are materials that they produce magnetic field. Just like when we have electrical field, we also have magnetic field. Now, when they produce this magnetic field, it helps them to be able to attract materials like ions, cobalt, and nickel. So we are looking at two types of magnets in this class. We are looking at the horseshoe magnet and our bar magnet. And you can see an example of how they look like on the screen. So we have your horseshoe and your bar magnets. So now we are looking at metals and magnets. Now, magnets are metals. And they are special kind of metals in the sense that they can attract other metals. Now, while every magnet is a metal, not every metal are magnets because not every metal around us has the ability to attract other metals. So that's one very funny thing. Make all magnets are metals and they are special because they can attract other metals to them. But not every metal are magnets. So all magnets are metals, but not every metal are magnets. So magnetic materials. Now when we talk about magnetic materials, we're talking about materials that uh, magnets are able to attract. Materials that can be attracted by magnets, that's what we call magnetic materials. So examples of these magnetic materials, we have iron nickel, iron, steels, and cobalt. While lots of metals are not magnetic, including metals like copper and aluminum, which are mostly the ones we use in making products, that's why your products are not magnetic. So examples of magnetic materials, materials that can attract metals, we have your nickel, iron, steel, and cobalt. So now what are the uses of magnets? Now magnets have various uses. There are, there are a lot of things that we can use magnets for. Examples for keeping doors shut. Most times in your boats and or not on your doors, most of them are basically magnetic. So when they are shut together, it scans. They attract each other, which helps to keep the door shut. We, can, we also use met, um, magnets for moving heavy objects. We make use of magnets for moving heavy objects. Through the um, ability of metals to attract, they can they have the ability to attract metals to them and it will help to move those objects. We have for making parts in a computer, most of the parts we have in our computer systems are actually magnetic and they are also used as fridge magnets, they are used in fridges too as well. So our magnets have what we call north and south poles. All magnets have what we call the north and south poles, as you can see it displayed on the screen. Now, opposite poles attract each other, while same poles repel each other. When we talk about opposite poles, that's your south and north. If you have two magnets now, the south of one magnet will attract the north of the other magnet. But when both are like, like south of one magnet and then south of the other magnet, they tend to what? repel each other. When they are alike, they want they repair each other. But when they are opposite, like the south to north, north to south, they attract each other. Magnets only need to be near each other to attract or to repel. They do not need to be touched. So for magnets to attract, all they just need to do is to make sure they are very close to each other. They don't need to be joined together. All they just need to do is to be very close to each other, and then they begin to they begin to attract or repel. Now we have what we call the magnetic field. Now magnetic magnets have very visible magnetic fields. Magnets have very visible magnetic fields. Now when we talk about magnetic fields, what do we mean? Magnetic field is a region around a magnet's 
which the magnetic force exists. Now that region that is around the magnet, where we can feel the magnetic force, is what we call a magnetic field. Magnetic fields are simply regions around the magnet where we can feel the magnetic force. Now, magnetic fields line exist from the north pole and enter through the south pole. Magnetic field line they exit through the north pole and then they enter through the south. pole just as we can see displayed on the screen. Magnetic fields are visible. Sprinkling tiny uh, magnetic fields can also be visible. And one way you can see your magnetic fields is through this displayed on the screen. Sprinkling tiny bits of iron around the magnet can reveal the magnetic field line. So you have a magnet and you feel um sprinkle tiny bits of iron on it, you are able to see visible magnetic line. A lot of the iron filings will still to the poles, indicating the areas where the magnetic field is strong. So that's all about magnets for today's class. Thank you so much for listening. I know both we've learned something new about magnets today. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to drop them on the comment section. See you in the next class. Bye.